Hi, this is JP LaForest from EfficientAnalyst.com and in this video we will see how to filter a slicer in Power BI. So in this example where we're using data from the AdventureWorks Power BI model and I'll put a link in the description so you can download it. You will see that in the sales table, so we built this table here using the, uh, from the sales table, we're using the sales amount, sales quantity, and total cost. And then in the calendar dimension, we're using the year attribute. And as you can see, it correctly identifies that you only have sales for 2011, 12, and 13. And all the other years kind of get deleted automatically, so they don't show a bunch of zeros everywhere. But when we try to do the same with the year slicer, and we bring in the year attribute from the calendar dimension, you will notice that it has years showing for all of the years from the calendar table, a lot of which don't have any data. So if you want to do this to allow your users to very quickly filter the data set and explore different views, if they select years like 2011, 12, and 13, you can see everything works correctly. But if they click 2007, you'll see a whole bunch of blanks. So that's not the best uh, experience for your users, so we'll probably want to filter this list down to only the years that have actual data showing for them. So for that, we're going to go in the calendar table over here and we are going to add a new measure. And the measure that we will use starts off with the name, which we'll call quantity filter, but you can rename it as needed. And we will do calculate because we're in the calendar table and we want to use the sales quantity, which is in a different table. And what we're calculating is the sum of the sales quantity uh, column from the sales uh, table over here. So once you've written this formula down and press enter, you will see it gets added over in the right there. So then you click on your slicer to make sure that it's selected and has the little square around it. And we will drag the new measure that we just created into the filters on this visual section. And the option we're going to use is the is not blank. And then you click apply filter. And you will see that any year that does not have any sales quantity gets filtered out from this list. Now it's important to know that at this point you're only uh, filtering the slicer itself. It's not doing any effect on any of the other tables. But now it makes it much easier for your users to only have valid options that they can use. So. You can use this whether you have a calendar dimension or customer dimension, product dimension, or any other type of dimension that sometimes has a lot more options available than what your sales fact or any other fact actually uses. You can very quickly filter those out to only valid options. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please click like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.